Okay. Hello. Can you hear me, Blanca? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you today? Very good. Very good? Yeah. Do you have a job, Blanca? Sí. Did you work today? Yes. How was your day? A heavy day? ¿Cómo? Estuvo pesado el día o tranquilo? ¿Cómo puedo decir que estuvo tranquilo? Okay, you can say it was uh, relaxing. It was um, very quiet too. Puede decir it was very quiet. Is relaxing at work. Relaxing. Okay. Mm -hmm. No es muy común escucharlo, pero se puede decir tranquil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, did you have your certificate already? Ready. No yet. Um, I think that I will finish tomorrow because this week was um, very busy. Very busy. Okay. Uh, busy. Uh huh. Okay, so, well, uh, in case that you need help, remember that we are always willing to help you. Siempre les podemos ayudar con cualquier situación que se les presente, ¿verdad? Porque tenía por ahí, um, um, no sé si ya pudo abrir al uh, certificado, hay alguien que no lo ha podido imprimir aún. So, y en mi caso la, la plataforma es un poco diferente, pero igual cualquier duda les puedo ayudar o averiguar con la gente de ella. Eh, el curso nos dicen que van a iniciar nuevamente el primero de junio. O sea que sí, vas como no, lo más típico es descansar una semana en lo que hacen todas las inscripciones y el papeleo. De oficina normalmente toma una semana, entonces ya la próxima semana ya no tienen clases, esta sería la última clase y eh, de ahí sería hasta el primero. Ok, Miss, thank you. And you will be our teacher. Eh, no lo sé. Es eh, oh. probable que sí, probable que no. no. Ah, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> sí, <laughs> sí. Es, uno se acostumbra a la gente y día es cada cambio, pero es, es parte de, <ríe> del proceso. Sí, así es que no sé. Eh, y a ver, a ver qué tal, ojalá que el grupo crezca, porque al final, pues sí, sí, muy poca gente se estaba conectando ya. No sé. Por ejemplo, right now, we are just two people in the platform. Yes, only two. Y todavía ahí vamos a ver lo del Ken y lo de Frequency Advert. Normalmente ya los últimos días la gente no se conecta, ya imprimieron su certificado y etcétera. Siempre es bueno practicar y un poco más de... Uh, el, el tema del, del auxiliar Ken lo íbamos a practicar ahora, entonces siempre es importante conectarse hasta la última clase. Y esto es como, es un beneficio que muy pocas academias lo tienen, porque hay muchos cursos en línea gratis con Insafor, pero solo les dan la plataforma. Vaya. Hay muchos, hay muchos, pero no hay un, una persona que les pueda ayudar a practicar, a ampliar el tema. Eh, no hay una persona, solo le dan la plataforma. Y al final usted imprime ese certificado tal cual estamos ahorita, pero no. No hay un, un, un tutor, no hay nadie. Entonces, ese es un beneficio que hay que aprovechar. Pero, bueno. Exactly. <laughs> Because during, uh, during the, in the process, we have some questions. And with, if we just have only the platform, uh, that question will be 
there always. Yes, and also you can practice with different people. You can practice pronunciation. You can improve pronunciation. And you can interact with other people. That is another advantage that you have. Exactly, because that's, that thing that uh, is more difficult for me is the speaking. Because the grammar, I think that um very, pretty well. But the speaking is a problem for me. Yes, uh, most of you did an excellent job with grammar. Eh, sí, la mayoría eh, hizo un muy buen trabajo con la gramática. Son un grupo muy bueno en gramática y por speaking eh, es normal que nos cueste un poquito por diferentes razones. Porque nos da pena, porque estamos pensando que los demás se van a reír, etcétera. Entonces, tal vez incluso si usted se pone a practicar sola en su casa con el espejo, repite el diálogo, pero a la hora de hacerlo con otra persona se traba porque le da pena por... Entonces, ese es otro asunto que hay que tratar de vencer, ¿verdad? Que no les dé pena, porque media vez ustedes pierdan la pena y se tienen a practicarlo, van a mejorar un montón. Hay gente incluso que se gradúa de la carrera de inglés y no lo quieren hablar, no pueden por lo mismo. Entonces, esa es, esa es la primera barrera que tienen que vencer, ¿verdad? Están a tiempo porque están empezando. Entonces, hay que, hay que tratar de... Okay. So, uh, well, about the uses of can, uh, we have a presentation for today. We're going to check it. And then we're going to talk about this deeper, okay? Uh, this is, well, we said that we use can for ability. Okay, can and can't. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to make a difference. Es un poco difícil a veces. Vamos a, a trabajar la pronunciación más adelante. So, uh, right now is can an affirmative and can for negative when you are talking about abilities. Now, in affirmative, I can, you can, he can, she can, it can, we can, you can, they can. This is for affirmative statements. When we are making affirmative, if you see, it's can for all the subjects. And right after can, you have to use another verb. Because can is the auxiliary, then you have to use another verb to express the ability. Uh, we have a statement here. Can you read that statement, Blanca? Perdón. ¿Puede leer esta oración que está acá? Parrot. Can tell. Ok, excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. Kangaroos can jump. Andrea, can you read this one? Ok. Humans can jump too. Okay, very good. Humans can jump too. Excellent job. Roxana? Okay, it says cheetahs. Cheetahs can run very fast. Some people can run very fast too. Dolphins can swim. Many people can swim too. Okay, when it's negative, we say I cannot. And short form is can't. You cannot, you can't. We cannot. They can't. Uh -huh. He cannot, he can't. He cannot, she can't. It cannot, it can't. He can, he cannot. 
We cannot. We can't. You cannot. You can't. They cannot. In short, is they can't. Okay, that is contracted. Pirates can't swim. No, we can't. No, we can't. Kangaroos can't talk. Dolphins can't run. Elephants can't jump. Okay, when you are making interrogatives or questions, se fijaron lo que pasó ahí, verdad? En oración decimos I can, for example. Si vamos a hacer una yes no question, tenemos que invertir el orden. Can I? Can you? Can he? Can she? Can it? Can we? Can you? Can they? Y siempre vamos a utilizar can también en la respuesta. Es como un juego. Si se fijan, cuando estamos haciendo preguntas con el verbo to be, respondemos con el verbo to be. Si es con la auxiliar do, respondemos con do. Si es con das, respondemos con das. Lo mismo pasa aquí. Uh, si la pregunta es con can, respondemos con can. Por ejemplo, um, si yo le pregunto, um, can, you, can you swim, Blanca? Can you swim? No, I can't. Okay, excellent. Uh, can you swim, Andrea? Yes, I can. Okay, excellent. Uh, can your brother, can your brother swim, Andrea? I don't have brothers. You don't have brother. Ah, okay. Can yeah. your sister swim? Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Okay, very good. So, así van a ir jugando con las respuestas. Sujeto, dependiendo, right? Y can, si es afirmativo, can't. No, we can't. No, he can't. No, he can't. Y es así como estaba ahí. Aquí hay algunos ejemplos. Can dolphins swim? Yes, they can. Can elephant jump? No, they can't. Can kangaroos fly? No, they can't. Can parts talk? Yes, they can. Y lo que les explicaba ayer que este también es utilizado para pedir, dar o negar un permiso. Por ejemplo, can I, can I clean the board, please? Vamos pidiendo permiso para limpiar la pizarra. Can I open the window, please? Can I sharpen my pencil, please? Can I go to the toilet, please? And that's it. Do you have any questions so far? Tienen preguntas? No questions? No for me, no questions. Okay, as uh, there are no questions, we can practice here. Uh, we're going to read and try to give the best answer using what we have learned here. Uh, fill in the blanks to complete the sentence, and we can use the above boxes. For example, in the number one, it says, I can. go to work because I am sick. Cannot. Uh -huh. It said, yeah, can't or cannot. I can't go to work because I am sick. Okay. So you can do uh, 
Well, you can write your answers in the notebook, only the number and the answers, uh, para que no lo copien todo, solo el número y las respuestas, para que no, no copien todo, yo les mando más tarde el documento. Let's try to work in the notebook, and if you have any question, you can ask. Number one, it's already done. Ya hicimos la one.
Have you finished? Yes, finish. Okay, so uh, what is the answer in number two? Can your uncle speak Spanish? Uh huh. Yes, he can. Excellent. That's the answer. Number three. What about That's number three? Yeah, no, my friend can write. Mm -hmm. About the can read a bicycle. Ok, uh, so en la primera sería can't, negative, right? Uh -huh. And then, but he can ride a bicycle, affirmative. Yes? Yes. Ok, excellent. That's the answer. So, number four. Number four. Yeah, we can't. Aha, uh -huh. negative. Negative, excellent. We can't go to the beach today because it's raining. Uh, number five. Can they come with us to the store? No, they can't. Excellent, that's the answer. Number six. Dennis can play the piano. She cannot how to play it. Excellent, uh -huh. that's the answer. Dennis can play the piano. She knows. Uh -huh. Aquí la cano. Oh, okay. She knows. She knows. How to play it. How to play. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Now, number seven. Uh, yeah, I really finished my work. So I can go home now. Uh huh. I can go home now. Excellent. Number eight. Excuse me, where can I buy a bus ticket? Excellent. That's the answer. Number nine. Can you help me write my homework? Excellent. Now is Kerovan uh, help me with with my homework. Homework. Excellent homework. You got it. Homework. Now um. Ten. Number 10. Penguins can fly, but they fly. can fly. fly well. Fly. Uh -huh. Sería la primera negativa y la segunda afirmativa. afirmativa. Yes, excellent. That's the answer. Now, number 11. Number 11. I'm sorry, but I 
can't believe what he said. He's not telling the truth. Okay, excellent job. Number 12. Henry can meet on tomorrow at three o'clock. Will meet him. He is. Him. Him in the library. 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 Okay, excellent job. Number 13. Number 13. My little brother can sell the chain. No, no. Now he knows. No, he knows what time and what time to watch the TV. Okay, very good, excellent. Letter, well, number 14. I can you see that bill? No, can where it is. Where is it? Okay. Can you see that bird? And then negative. No, I can't. Okay. Excellent job. Number 15. Do you think you can send you way home? Okay. Excellent. Now let's practice. Uh, do you think? Do you think? You can find. You can find your way home. Your way home. Okay, excellent. Do you have any questions about the exercise or vocabulary? No questions? En la número six, donde dice she is knows. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Ella sabe. Ajá, ella sabe cómo, cómo tocarlo, hablando del piano, ¿verdad? Dennis uh, can play the piano. She knows how to play it. Ajá. Dennis puede tocar el piano. Ella sabe cómo tocarlo. Okay. Okay. So, el verbo know es saber, conocer. Any other question? En la número 11, eh, true, la última palabra. Verdad. Okay. Uh -huh. So, ahí sería lo siento, pero no puedo creer lo que él dijo. Believe es creer. Ahí dijimos que era negativa, ¿verdad? I'm sorry, but I can't believe what he said. He's not telling the truth. Él no está diciendo la verdad. La palabra truth significa verdad. Le voy a mandar el documento más noche. Any other question? No question para mí. Okay, so we can continue. I'll send you the document later on so you can practice. Uh, now, about pronunciation, we have an exercise here so we can practice. There is a little difference when you are saying it in affirmative or negative. It's sometimes difficult to recognize the sounds. Aquí vamos a escuchar cómo suena affirmative and negative. Pronunciation can and can't. I think it's a little stress. Okay. I need to play this exercise pronunciation about the auxiliary, right? In affirmative and in negative. Page 67, Exercise 8, Pronunciation, Can and Can't, Part A, Listen and Practice. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. 
I can play the piano. I can't sing at all. Page 67, Exercise 8, Pronunciation. Can and Can't. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can play the piano. I can't sing at all. If you notice, eh, cuando es negativo, hay un poquito más de fuerza en la voz, ¿verdad? I can't play the piano. I can't sing at all. So it's a little stress. Let's try to do this listening and we are going to try to define what is the, um, oh well, um, it doesn't have an audio, so it's not possible. So we can practice with this one. So by looking at the picture and looking at the instruction, this is Kayla. Kayla is this lady. Is talking about things that you can and can't do. Let us complete the sentence. Number one, it would be, I can't draw. Number two, I can't can. I can't fix card. I can't fix card. Number three. I can't. Excellent. Number four. I can't ice Excellent. Number five. I can play the piano. I can play the piano. Excellent. And number six. I can't ask. Okay, excellent. You did an excellent job with the pronunciation. Okay, um, then we have a word power here. Uh, we are talking about talent and we can uh, practice pronunciation and then classify the vocabulary. Let's repeat, bake a cake. Make a cake. Okay, let's repeat one more time. Bake a cake. Bake a cake. Download a video. Download a video. Do yoga. Do yoga. Fix a car. Fix a car. Play chess. Play chess. Play the violin. Play the violin. Ride a horse. Ride a horse. Sing English songs. In English, English song. Snowboard. It's not Snowboard. Snowboard. Tell good jokes. Tell good jokes. Upload photos. Upload photos. Write poems. Write poems. Okay. Uh, do you have any question about this vocabulary? Is it new for you? Snowboard. A snowboard es un deporte que es como eh, es una cosa similar a una patineta, pero no tiene ruedas y es para deslizarse en la nieve, similar a una patineta. El ejercicio es solo que se hace en la nieve. Eh, yo. Ok, la palabra tell eh, significa decir buenos chistes. Oh. Uh -huh. Decir buenos chistes es tell good jokes. Y la, las últimas dos, upload photos. Upload es... Uh, cuando usted sube fotos, digamos, subirlas a Facebook, subirlas en WhatsApp, eso es upload. Cargar archivos o subir es upload. Mm -hmm. ¿Mm? Y a uh, write poems es escribir poemas. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Any other question? Okay, uh, we have, well, we have Blanca. Uh, let's see, Nelly, Clarissa, Blanca, Andrea, Roxana, and Mayra. We can ask about these abilities to other classmates. For example, I could ask uh, Nelly, can you ride a horse? Repeat. Can you ride a horse? Ride a horse. Um, no, no. No, I can't. No puede montar a caballo. No, I can't. Okay, good, Nelly. Uh, ask a question to another classmate. Hágale una pregunta a otro compañera. O compañero. También está Johnny. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Me? Um, a Clarissa. A Clarissa. Can you? Y luego can, you can you download a video? Can you download a video, Clarissa? Clarissa. I can download a video. Okay, Clarissa, thank you. Can you ask a question to another classmate? Um, Nelly? Sí. Nelly, can you do tell good jokes? Do tell good jokes? I... No. I, I can't. Okay, no, I can't. Now, can you continue? Haga otra pregunta. Nelly. Ok. Eh, quiero ver quién está. Um, Mayra. Can you snowboard? Mayra. Hola. Hi, Mayra. Can you ah, snowboard? ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa snowboard? Eh, patinar en nieve. I, I can, I can. So you say, no, I, I can't. No, I can. Ok, good. Can you continue, Mayra? Hágale otra pregunta a otro compañero o compañera. Ok. Clarisa, ¿can you do yoga? Do yoga? No, I can't. No, I can't. Good. Now continue, Clarisa. And Johnny and um, Blanca. Okay. You can. Um, fix a car. Uh, repita la pregunta. You can do fix a car. No, no es you can, porque si dice you can, está haciendo or oración. ¿Cómo es para pregunta? Can you. Excellent. Uh -huh. Can you fix a can car? Fix a car. No, I Excellent. can. Okay, good. Continue. No le han preguntado a Johnny, creo. Johnny, can you sing English song? Johnny, can you sing English songs? Preguntémosle a Andrea entonces. Andrea, can you sing English song? No, I can't. Okay, Andrea, ask a question for another classmate. Okay, Roxana, can you play the violin? Mm -hmm. 
Roxana. Roxana, can you play the violin? No, I can't. Okay, very good. So I think that everybody participate, right? So um, after that, we have a reading. A reading exercise, and this is how the section number five finishes. You have to read and then you have a set of um, questions about the reading. So we're gonna listen the reading and then you tell me if you got any vocabulary. Vocabulary is good to have a lot of vocabulary. Page 69, exercise 12, reading. An interview with Sean Johnson. Get a sneak peek inside the life of this U.S. gold medal winning Olympic gymnast. Where are you from? Des Moines, Iowa. I live there now. Who do you train with? A lot of people think I have a private coach, but I train with 13 other girls at the gym. How often do you practice? Most athletes train about 45 hours a week, but my parents want me to have a normal life. I train about 25 hours a week. I usually work out four hours a day during the week and five to six hours on Saturdays. I don't practice on Sundays. What do you eat to stay healthy? I have to watch my diet to be a healthy gymnast, but I don't get stressed about it. What are your favorite foods? Chicken and steak kebabs, peaches and cream, and corn on the cob. What do you do when you're not training? I love to ride horses and spend time with my friends. What do you do for good luck? I always travel with my blankets, but I don't believe in good luck charms. Who are your biggest fans? My mom, dad, and of course my coach. Okay, do you have any question about vocabulary? What is the mean of blanket and and look look charms? Okay, blanket son sabanas. Um, uh -huh, okay. sabanas y los look charms son eh, charms significan encantos. Okay. Eh, los look charms son como amuletos de la suerte. Thank you. La buena suerte. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, do you believe in good luck charms? I think that no. No. <laughs> there are no good luck charms. Okay, I uh, neither I do. I don't believe in lucky charms. Okay, any other question? For example, this, this is a, a, a good word to practice, chicken and steak kebabs. Do you like chicken or steak kebabs? No, no, thank you. What is a steak kebab? But Okay, the word kebabs, esta palabra kebab significa brochetas. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí dice que son brochetas de pollo o de res steak, o sea, de res steak. Aquí los conocemos como pinchos. Ajá, pinchos de carne o pinchos de pollo. Uh, uh, ponen en un palito un pedacito de carne, un pedacito de tomate, un pedacito de cebolla, luego otro pedacito de carne y luego los ponen a asar o a, o a la plancha. Es muy delicioso. Yes, so, so you can say kebabs are very delicious. Which ones are your favorite, chicken or steak? Steak. Steak kebabs, yes, those are my favorite too. <laughs> I prefer really? steak 
crabs. Yes, I don't like chicken very much. Me too. <laughs> okay, good. So anybody else here likes steak kebabs? Next, it's good to practice vocabulary. As you practice the vocabulary, you increase your vocabulary and it's easier for you. Cuando van ampliando vocabulario, se va haciendo más fácil el inglés. Y hay que tratar de practicarlo. En la plataforma tienen una lectura que es muy similar a esta. Entonces ahí pueden, eh, la plataforma va a estar habilitada hasta mañana es su último día. Así es que mañana todavía pueden eh, ingresar a la plataforma y tratar de practicar ahí. Aquí uh, a mí es diferente, no puedo ver certificado, creo que es porque no he hecho todos los ejercicios. <risa> Estaba tratando de descubrir a dónde. Okay, so the reading exercise is the last one that you have here in your in your section. I think it's the same um, a previous version. Creo que es la versión previa a la que yo tengo, pero el vocabulario debería de ser el mismo. En caso vamos a, a revisarlo para que ustedes vean si lo pueden. Uh, practicar un poco más en la casa Race to US Yeah, it's a little different. There's different athletes. Let's check the vocabulary if you can find something new here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take 8 or 10 days to race across America, from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile 4,667 kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For eight to 10 days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Hmm. That's interesting. Did you have a uh, new vocabulary from this reading? Climb the stairs of New York City's... No sé si encontraron algo de vocabulario nuevo acá. For example, the word prices. What is prices? No, I don't know. Okay, it says that the winners usually finish the course in nine to 12 days and receive, they receive prize. Premios. 
Uh, uh -huh. Cash prizes. Uh -huh. Reciben premios en dinero efectivo. Es mejor que un trofeo o una medalla. Creo que el <laughs> It's better price. Uh, a cash prize. Mm -hmm. So a prize es un premio. A cash significa en efectivo, en dinero. Mm -hmm. Didn't you find anything else there? Um, let me see. Just one minute, please. Okay. What is down river? Down, uh, down river is Rio Abajo. Rio Abajo, down river. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh, que normalmente estas competencias son en la corriente ya cuando va para abajo, pues corriente abajo, río abajo, le dicen down river. Any other? No, use that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so remember that you can still check the platform. Todavía pueden chequear la plataforma, pueden este, repetir después de la lectura. It's Empire State Building. Y ahí usted repite, Empire State Building. In the Empire State Building run-up. And the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet. The climb is 10,000 feet. Y así ustedes pueden irla pausando y repetir para que ustedes ejerciten pronunciación y puedan sacar más provecho de lo que es la plataforma. Y también pueden bajar aplicaciones. La más usada es una que se llama Duolingo. No sé si ustedes la usan. Pueden usar diferentes aplicaciones también para practicar un poco más. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta del tema. Con esto terminamos ya la sección 5, el repaso, el ejercita, eh, ejercitamos can y can't. Más tarde o mañana les mando la hojita en la que estuvimos trabajando para que la tengan ahí como material. Eh, recuerden que ya terminamos el curso ahora. Ya no hay clases hasta, tengo entendido, el primero de junio. Y la otra semana no van a tener clases tampoco. Se les estaría mandando la información a su correo antes del primero de junio. Si sí, tengan paciencia porque a veces llega el último día la información, su enlace, su usuario y todo. Quiero hacer una pregunta. Yes. Se pueden hacer oraciones negat eh, preguntas negativas. Sí, se puede. Pero en este caso va como en, a, en una pregunta afirma en una pregunta. Que es afirmativa, empezamos con can y el sujeto. Si yo la quiero hacer negativa, tendría que empezar con can. Ajá, por ejemplo, um, yo le podría preguntar, ¿no puedes bailar? O sería, can you dance? Can you dance? Ahora, si yo le puedo, yo le digo, uh, ¿no te gustan las hamburguesas? ¿Cómo sería? Can you? No. <ríe> Acuérdense que can es para preguntar sobre habilidad o para pedir permiso. Significa poder. Do you like? Ajá, y tendríamos que usar el do. Pero, como lo vamos a hacer negativa la pregunta? Decir, ¿no te gustan las hamburguesas? Don't. Ajá, exacto. Don't. Ay. Ay. Don't. You like hamburgers. Ah, excelente. Don't you like hamburger? Don't you like hamburgers? And then you say, no, I don't like them very much. No me gustan. Y así depende con qué quiera preguntar. Si es con cualquier verbo. Acuérdense que es don't, doesn't, do y does. 
Ahora sí es con el verbo to be. Si yo le quiero preguntar, no estás enojada, ¿verdad? ¿No estás enojada? Acuérdense que cero estar, am, is, are. Are you? Ajá, si es afirmativa la pregunta, yo le diría, are you angry? ¿Estás enojada? You angry? Are not angry. Uh, si le pregunto, ¿no estás enojada? Aren't you I'm not? Are you angry? No, you say, no, I am not. Or, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Any other question? ¿Algo otra pregunta? No more questions. No more questions. Okay, so, well, that's it for today. I hope you continue practicing. Find a way to continue practicing. I will send the material later. It was a pleasure to work with you. And uh, see you around. No sé si los voy a tener al otro o van a tener otro teacher, pero fue un placer trabajar con ustedes. Y pues espero que sigan con su proceso. Y los felicito por haber llegado hasta el final, la última clase, porque lo hicieron muy bien, excelente. Acuérdense, practiquen un poco más eh, con la plataforma. Son excelentes en gramática. No les dé pena, practiquen, hablen. Porque si ustedes no hablan, es difícil saber algo. Necesito que pronuncie mejor tal palabra. Le voy a ayudar a pronunciarla mejor. Entonces, solo como consejo, para participar más eh, para que puedan. Es lo único, pero de ahí en, en todo lo demás son excelentes estudiantes. Y los extrañaré si no les doy clase yo. <risa> pero sí, los felicito porque son los que llegaron hasta el final y, y pues creo que ya completaron su proceso. Eh, gracias a todos y a todas. En, ahí los veo por ahí. Si no los tengo yo, ahí los voy a ver en, en otro grupo, pero <laughs> espero que sigan. Ok. So that's it for today. Sleep well and take care. Sigan cuidándose mucho las medidas, ¿verdad? Cuídense mucho y los veo por ahí. Descansen. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.